Hello guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. Hopefully you guys out there are doing great, earning a lot of money from the market. All right, so today I will do a little bit special because a lot of people ask me whether does, uh, the method works well with uh, stocks, all right? Uh, yeah, coincidentally, I think it's a universal attraction. Uh, recently, I was uh, having dinner with uh, some uh, businessmen and they asked me about the Malaysian stock. I'm from Malaysia, so they asked me about Malaysian stock. So I'm going to share with you uh, two different uh, stocks and I tell you, I'm going to explain to you uh, the positive or should I say the advantage and disadvantage using this method trading stocks, all right? So uh, I'm not going international. Let me do it locally first. Let me explain it. All right, so first we are looking at uh, uh, this stock is called Genting Malaysia. Genting is actually one of the biggest company in Malaysia, uh, operating some resorts and also casino. All right. So what happened was that uh, very simple stocks. I don't like to use my method to trade stock for a uh, few reasons. First reason is that uh, if you realize there is a lot of gaps. All right. I'm looking at daily chart right here, but there is a lot of gaps. All right. So what happens is that all these gaps is the missing information that I hate. All right? I really hate about it. Okay, but uh, does it work? I can tell you it works extremely well. So first of all, example, uh, if you guys notice, there is a QML. Such a way. You can see there is a QML. And the entry point is on the spot. All right, entry point on the spot. So not only that, recently uh, when they asked me about the stock or about how the movement is, I told them the price might drop. Of course, it's on the daily chart. Because why? Reason is that I saw this uh, setup. All right, uh, some of you have been watching my shorts video. You under realize that uh, this is something we call as a SBR support become resistance. All right, so there is a heavy support right there, and then heavy support. And not only that, this area, if I extended it uh, to the left hand side, all right, what happened is that there is re uh, support and resistance. All right, the price try tried to break, went up. Okay then it, a, it was able to break. Now, the key point right here is that when the price break, it forms a doji king, all right? Doji king, if I go to a lower time frame, let's say a smaller time frame like H4, I'm able to spot my entry, a very, very precise support, uh, sorry, uh, this is supply area, the supply area. That's why the price rejected right there and then dropped, all right? For those who are trading stock, this might not look quite a lot to you guys okay this is the another disadvantage it can i can predict the movement i can predict where the price uh, drop on the supply or demand zone but it does not really give you a lot all right and you need to hold for quite some times uh that is why i don't like to trade stock using my method even though it works all right i can tell you even though it works so another example that they do also ask me is about this uh, uh stocks uh we call it the capital a all right let me see Capital A, all right? It's also from Malaysia. Uh, if not mistaken, it's uh, one of uh, the, the company represent Air Asia. Asia is one of the uh, biggest airline, all right, in Malaysia, a uh, budget airline, all right. Uh, some of you might heard about it before, all right? It's Air Asia, all right. So what happens is that uh, besides QML, SBR, all right. Then they also ask me about some prediction about these stocks, right? Very, very firm. Right? I can tell them this stock is going to drop. All right, it's going to drop. And not only that, there is a limitation of this drop. Okay, at this moment, it's going to drop. Okay, very simple. When the price goes up and then move this way, now we are looking at a, a bit high time frame. Let's assume for H4. All right, price went up and then price came back down this way. What I actually noticed is that the price is making compression movement. All right, I've explained about this movement. This is a liquidity building movement. All right, it may present to you the price is dropping, 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 but this is a compression. This is a compression. So where is the rebound area? So there is a high probability the price might rebound in this area. All right, why? It's because this is a strong demand zone. All right, it's a strong demand zone, especially on H1, all right, H1, where there is a QML, all right, for a buy, all right, where there is a QML for a buy. So this is a very, very, very strong demand zone. So now let's look at it. Another negative side about using this method on stock is that you can see that actually the, the, the candlestick uh, movement uh, 
of course, it may be due to the gaps that I mentioned earlier uh, on the uh, Genting, all right, the, 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 the stocks. If you look at it, the price actually, the candlestick does not make sense, all right? There is no continuation of the candlesticks. This is a very, very big problem. All I can actually look at it is estimation. It doesn't really present me the good data for my analysis. But anyway, the movement itself, QML, you can see actually very well, right? The QML price came back into the QML, right? Just to give you an example, okay? QML, price came back, QML, and then break structure. Okay, sorry for that. And then broke the structure. And then what do you have? We have the break of structure right there. And then price came back, tap on this uh, supply zone, and then it continues to drop. You can see everything is exactly the same as forex trading, as index trading. As long as I'm able to put the data in a chart, I can tell you I can analyze everything. Okay. <coughs> okay, sorry for that. So what happens is that now look at it, it's a compression. So there is a possibility the price might uh, go down some more. That's why I can predict it, it's going to drop some more. All right, it's going to drop some more. And then uh, there is a high chance it may rebound from this area. All right, it may rebound from this area. So for any of you uh, have been holding this gunting and capital, all right, you should know what, <laughs> what is the direction. You be you can trade, all right. So does the matter works on stocks? I think I giving you a very very clear answer on that. All right. So that's all for now for today. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like the video that I did for you, please do give me a like. And of course, subscribe to the channel so that uh, the YouTube algorithm uh, knows that it's this very good, informative uh, videos and they will recommend it to more people. All right. So that's all for now. See you guys then. Bye. Thank <music> you.